So this session I'll show you a couple of another couple of forms and to, to frame it up of course uh, I'll spend quite a long time on each of these forms but you might in real time once you've learnt it it only takes a couple of minutes to actually do a form um, so you can actually get through a, quite, a, quite a good sequence in a period of, of half an hour even 20 minutes you can get through a good sequence um, so if I was doing a full sequence, I'd probably spend, if I had 20 minutes, I'd probably spend the first seven or eight just loosening up. And then maybe do some forms, perhaps not all of them. Uh, and always begin and end with the Wu Qi. So that gives you a good picture. And you just put in what you can in, your, in the amount of time you have. And what feels right in terms of your body. So, having begun with the Wu Qi and loosening up and using uh, the raising the sky and the bow and arrow to open the, the vertical and the lateral axis, and you're going to uh, next form ball in the sky. It's about helping to open the sides of the body. Is uh, fascia tissue so you can recognize that the flesh of the body is wrapped in very fine connective tissue which is often not noticed because it's so fine uh, but along through this connective tissue which is like a fine membrane that wraps around all the meat of the body that's where the the subtle energy signals are transmitted through the body that keeps it coherent so it's functioning as a, as a single unit even though it's made of many different and dramatically different systems and organs it's the connective tissue that bind it together as a whole this connective tissue can get uh, stressed um, uh, particularly if you get a lot of tension it tends to tighten up and then it loses some of its articulation so often people are very busy are quite clumsy and, dis and disconnected so um, you know once it's doing one thing once it's doing another thing there a lot of it's just a lot of their body is not being felt at all so one of the themes is to use forms movements to loosen up and can get all the connective tissue alive and healthy and communicating so when you open up the sides of the body and as you can imagine this is where in the pressures of life we tend to contract a little tighten up a little and we lose this and this causes the diaphragm to tighten up and then everything gets uh, pressurized. So the ball in the sky. Let your arms, as if you're hanging upside down. So not just lifting your arms, but all but just imagine hanging upside down from a trapeze or something, let your arms trail all the way up, at the same time, <laughs> dropping your body. Yeah. So the body is dangling. So it's, it's not pressurized, but there's a real sense of these two, two uh, um, contradictory move forms, forces. One, if you like, is a, a form of drifting upwards and the other is hanging down. Uh, so that helps to open things up. Bring the arms back so they're roughly in line with the ears, palms facing each other. And we take a ball, a large ball between the hands. So the hands are kept nice and open, not like this, but open up. It's very helpful to keep, you know, the hand open in all directions, not just that way, but that way. Yeah. So this is where we use a ball. It's not, not stretched, but it is it's wrapping around a, a large ball above your head. And then it's take, take a few seconds to get used to that. And the ball is going to move. Now frame it that way, the ball is moving. That puts my mind in a pretty receptive state rather than I am moving the ball 
no, the ball is moving and I am just hang you know, I'm just hanging on to it or you know. So get that that quality of mind. You know, seventy percent rule. So the ball is doing the moving, swinging in this arc. And as you probably would imagine, this is the out breath. This is the inhalation. So with the exhalation, you let things extend. A slight stretch along that side of the body. Inhalation as if with inhalation the ball is inflating and picking you up. So it's really putting emphasis on the ball as the agent and you're rather like a child that's being gently turned and feeling out the resistances in the sides of the body and in the spine of course you might get a little bit stiff and uncomfortable you work with that with the out breath is a yielding yielding quality to it surrendering and the inhalation picks you up now just to take a break from that for a moment the thing i must emphasize is to make sure you only turn the spine don't twist it to twist and turn the spine at the same time puts your discs at risk. You don't want to slip disc. And of course, this means the neck as well. So don't do this. So you could discipline yourself to not use your eyes, but feel your ear. You get that ear coming down to the corresponding shoulder. Don't turn your head because you don't want to damage your neck. Allow the ball breathing out. And here, get more relaxed with it. The out breath, the exhalation slow steady yielding surrender relax and let the weight of the body itself cause that like stretching along this this flank and as you find your your way with that the level at which feel you feel comfortable with as you come over to the right lift the right heel Mm -hmm. and as you come back right heel drops come over to the left lift the left heel Increasing the sense of surrender, particularly as you get more confident with it up into your head, as if you're really letting your head go, like it's just a ball of bone, and you can release it and let it hang there. And it helps the neck muscles to let go. And then the breath, the ball of the breath picks the head up pops it back on top of your shoulders again no problem all 
all climbing up into the sky in a nice smooth arc. Over to the right, the right heel lifts. Over to the left, left heel lifts. Let the body determine when to breathe in, so you might get to the end of the out breath. Release and wait. Until the inhalation happens by itself. Ball in the sky. And you've done maybe eight of those four each four in each direction. And let the form subside. What will be occurring as you go through these forms is to increasing extent your breathing is more moderated and modulated longer and the longer pauses which is all good for calming refreshing and releasing the mind So that was ball in the sky. Any form that extends above your head, uh, depending on what your vitality level is at any moment, time of the day, if you're not feeling too fully there and steady, you might feel dizzy and disoriented. So if you're in doubt, just do the, the basic stuff. You know, it makes you feel a little bit clearer before you start doing things above your head, particularly this one. And stretching, whenever you stretch and release things, energy moves around and you might find yourself feeling dizzy. If you do, sit down. <coughs> Next form, separating earth and sky. Easily, easily swing the arms around so they're not too close to the chest, not disconnected. So in here, you can imagine here is very, very close, a bit too tight. The body energy field extends this way, and depending, it's kind of fading as you come further away from your your body. Around about here, it's a pretty nice level. Also, the arms no, not tight. You don't want to have any tight angles like that because then energy doesn't travel. So you want it to be nice and open so the energy can move through a curve. Also, my would be rough if, rough if I'm looking down. The arms will look like that. There's the so, and then we place the hands above each other. So now we have another ball here. Underneath is the cup. Cupped hand on top is the cap. <coughs> Take your, make sure your stand is nice and loose, but grounded. Feeling for those two hands. See if there's a, something rubbery between them. And the ball 
again wool begins to move it moves it turns and as it turns the top hand comes off and the arm swings around through 90 degrees so the palm is facing the earth the lower hand swings round through 180 degrees so the palm is facing the sky preferably really quite quite strong angle there as flat as possible to the sky this is not much good and again because this is going to give a little more uh, exercise for the connective tissue of this area so very helpful to get the hands and the arms opened up separating earth and sky breathing out and then when one thing stops everything stops breathing in So when one arm comes to the end, the other one stops. Breathing in. Just as if the ball is expanding. The arms are still connected to it and the ball is expanding. It expands in all directions at the same, to the same degree. Exhalation, fingers pointing straight back and straight forward. We prioritize the connectivity and the equivalence of the arms, so there's no point in doing this. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a distorted ball. It may feel nice, but actually you, you, you lost the center center is always here expands in both directions so this may seem now well, you know you could go further of course you could but that's that's as far as the downward hand is going so that's where the upward hand stops and you can lift it a little bit so from there to there somewhere in this region Ball rolls, top hand, fingers pointing forward, bottom hand 180 degrees, fingers pointing back, parallel to the earth, parallel to the sky, and cohesive, connected, everything moving at the same time, ball expanding both directions. Keeping aware of the whole field of the body energy. So yes, there are details in the hand movement, but the essence of it is not in the details alone. You may find your wider awareness, you can sense subtle effects over the entire field of body consciousness. This is just the active bit. But why we're doing it in this very connected way is so that the energy travels right down to your feet, soles of your feet. And clears the head, clarifies the head.
separating earth and sky. And we come to that form, turn, and we'll conclude a minute or so of standing. Still have the ball. Relaxing your shoulders down your back. And then gently gather the ball. The ball is sliding through the skin into the into the abdomen where it merges with the breathing and so really these two forms the ball and the breathing are pretty much symbiotic they work together so you bring the energy in your hands the energy in this area here drawing that into the breathing in here and come back so when you get the full inhalation it's as if you're drawing all that energy up well you but the breathing is drawing the energy up through the body and down as if you're showering sponging down the inside of your body energy body now the eyes temples you can be directed to areas that are not so comfortable your kidneys or your abdomen or you know, viscera they all benefit from receiving some good energy and this area here very important visceral stuff where most of our emotions come from well, well okay some emotions come from or powered from this area so we can get this feeling comfortable at ease certainly for our welfare So we might, in fact, if you're doing your Qigong session, spend a good couple of minutes closing and enjoying and using your breathing to spread the energy through parts of your body. But we'll conclude the session at this time. <laughs>